Hello friends, in this video I will show you how to create a simple note saving app in Sketchway. So in this app I have a button and when I click this button it displays a dialog box. When I write something in this dialog box, like this is my first note and click on add, it will get added as a note. And here I can write more items like second note and it appears at the top and third line I will write this is latest and it will get added at the top now when I click any of these items and click on delete the item will get deleted so I will show you how to do this in Sketchware so here in Sketchware first we have to switch on app compat and design after this here I have added a button which is button 1 and I have added list view 1 for this list view custom view is list item this list item contains a text view which displays the note now in components I have added a dialog component called dialog underscore add and I have added another dialog component called dialog 2 and I have added shared preferences component called PREF with path PREF now when button 1 is clicked I display a dialog box called dialog add for this dialog the title is new note and here I create an edit text programmatically final edit text edit text 1 equal to new edit text main activity dot this main activity is the name of this activity and if you are using it in some other activity you have to change it accordingly next I set the layout params for edit text 1 new linear layout dot layout params linear layout dot layout params match parent this is the width and wrap content this is the height for the edit text 1 now for edit text 1 I have set hint as write note after this I have created a text input layout called text input 1 as a new text input layout main activity dot this after that I have set the I have set the layout params for this text input layout which is text input 1 width width match parent and height wrap content and then I have added this edit text 1 I have added this edit text 1 as view to the text input 1 and then I have set text input 1 as the view of the dialog box which is dialog underscore add here you can see my dialog is dialog underscore add so for this dialog underscore add I have set the view as text input 1 which is the text input layout now here I have added this string variable name and I have set the ok button for dialog underscore add and in this I get the data from edit text 1 and set it to this string variable name here this string variable name then I insert it in list map which is map list at position 0 with key item and then I display it in list view 1 and I also save it in shared preferences with key list by converting it to JSON string I convert the list map to JSON string and save it in shared preferences using key list and I display the map list in list view 1 for displaying the map list in on bind custom view I set the text of text view 1 as get value at position key item of list map map list so here this key item is same as what I used here item now this key list which is used to save the data in shared preferences is used in on create to retrieve the data so in on create I check if the key list is empty or not if it is empty sorry if it is not empty then I get the data
from the shared preferences key list which is a JSON string and convert it to a list map which is map list and display the map list in list view 1. Now in order to delete the data I have this list view 1 on item clicked event. So when this event when this event is executed when any item is clicked I use dialog 2 here I set the title as delete this node set the message as the note itself which is get value at position key item of list map map list then I set ok button as delete and when this button is clicked I delete that position of map list then convert the map list to JSON string and save it in shared preferences using the same key which is list and then I display the map list in list view 1 and refresh list view 1 or cancel button there is nothing and I show the dialog box after that. So that's all in coding part and the result you have already seen here we can add any item we can add larger items also so it will get added like this if you have to delete it you can just click here and click on delete so that's all in this video thank you very much for watching this